Welcome back to the Ultimate Creative Fighter. I am your host, Spree Gaming. We have the coaches finale set and ready to go. Invincible is set to take on Omni Man. Who will win? Let's find out. We are scheduled for five rounds. Herb Dean as referee. Omni Man in the red, Invincible in the black. This match can only be possible on one stage, the ultimate creative fighter. Father and son coaches, the winner of this match is set to take on Batman in the season finale, which is very beautiful in typical two cat fashion. We have the coaches fight the winner of the team, and that was Batman. I gotta say, both of these fighters are very, very strong. I did max out everything for them. The only difference is Omni Man has a boxer like attempt for the brutality, and then we also have them, you know, a ground and pound for the Think Mark Think meme, okay? Invincible, on the other hand, while he can pretty much almost do everything that Omni Man can. He has lethal kicks, and I believe that's going to be the difference in this fight. A young whippersnapper ready to get payback on his father. See what he could do. Nice, you know, nice hook over there. Checked. Omni-Man, you know, he's not a stranger to combat. Okay, he was in Mortal Kombat as well. You know, beating. Ooh, nice jump kick there. Ooh, opened up Omni Man. Decent back and forth here. As I was stating, you know, he's over there, you know, giving giving the mittens to uh, Scorpion, Sub Zero. There are also, you know, they've been in two calf before. This is Omni Man and Invincible's first time on this type of stage. A long awaited arrival. These are probably my favorite coaching. Uh, duo that I've set up. Beautiful. As you can tell right here, Omni Man, he's a ground and pound fighter. He definitely has what it takes to just beat him down and put him on the canvas. Even punch a hole through a canvas. Lightning speed, obviously. Look at him, you can see. He's not new to this. He's true to this. Ground and pound. Mind you, I have not watched this show. I just watched him beat up Invincible before. And let me tell you something. I loved it. That little part alone is making me want to watch the show. But first, let's go ahead and watch them on the Ultimate Creative Fighter. Invincible gets up, starts attacking that leg. You can hear Herb Dean speaking up. Look at that. No damage really taken from Invincible at this moment. There we go. Round number one is in the books. Omni-Man looks pretty incredible for a person that has been, you know, taking a few hits here and there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the replay, though. <coughs> there you go. That right hand block followed by the spinning elbow. Let's see if it landed. Oh, this is another this is another one. Don't worry about that one. And then we have the close proximity with the elbow. It definitely rocked. Invincible. It's very nice to see. I'm gonna have to give that round to uh, Omni Man. I felt like Omni Man was taking control on the ground and did enough on the stand up to actually secure him the 10-9. Nice kick there. Ooh, nice jumping kick attempt there by Invincible. Ooh, left hook there. <clears throat> While he is rocking, you know, he's rocking his pops. I don't think this is really just phasing, you know, Omni-Man that much. Ooh, nice leg kick there. He's being very unorthodox. Versatile. He's exchanging punches while keeping in, you know, a kick in there, one or two. 
Omni Man, I don't think he's thrown a single kick yet. Besides, ooh, there we go. Speak of the devil. Omni Man, on the other hand, like I said, his ground game. I don't expect him to make that his forte and just keep bringing him to the ground. I think if he's going to go for anything, it's going to be an automatic knockdown with a lot of, you know, added punches towards the very end. Somebody's hurt. Somebody's hurt bleeding. Omni Man. Doing pretty good on the stand-up. He is taking a lot of damage, but you know, Invincible, he's, he's, he's throwing a lot of spinning stuff. And that's what gets a lot of, you know, the ultimate creative fighters that are, you know, the people that are on the, the show, the tournament per se. That's what gets them knocked out. I've seen so many knockouts of people just spinning and getting knocked out. <laughs> Ooh, front kick there by Invincible. Herb Dean, I would like to thank Herb Dean as referee, you know, not stepping in on the fight, doing very beautiful. He's letting them have their moments. Oh, what a nice, that was the back of the head though. That, that might have been illegal. A back of the head jumping kick landed right there on Omni Man. Right in the gray section of his hair. Perfect mustache, by the way. Love how they did his mustache. Unbothered. Lovely takedown. Again, this is kind of where he wants to be, but it's not somewhere I plan on seeing him stay. Beautiful reversal. Excellent. Excellent. This is not where you want to be as far as invincible. You want to stick to your game plan. I did not make him to have this. You know, the stand up. There we go. Stand up. There we go. Beautiful. Omni Man, you know, he's he's having his doubts. Oh, what a nice right hand. The kick followed up by it too was nice. Last couple seconds in the second round. Let's see if Oh, flying knee attempt. There we go. We are entering round number three. Beautiful to see, you know, a father and son just spending so much time with each other. <laughs> Inside the ultimate creative fighter octagon. Let's take a look at the replays right here. Right here. The jumping kick right to the back of the head was illegal, but, you know, consider the fact that, you know, Herb Dean let it slide. I might have gave him a few bucks just to kind of keep the fight going. Beautiful kick, though. It definitely rocked his brain back and forth in his head. Right here, look. Right, swayed right into the counter. Whiffed the elbow and just ate a huge shot. Ready to fight? Ready. Round number three. Invincible, no sign of respect, no glove touching. Father's Day is approaching. This could be an early gift if, if he, uh, you know, he gives them a nice haymaker, KO. You know, their personal vendetta, it might be a 1-1 series, but definitely in two calf. We'll see what happens. Ooh, a lovely counter. The thing with Ami Man is, he's a lot older. You know, you can't teach a dog new tricks. And you can see that right now. Look, he is being, uh, the pressure is being applied. Lovely, lovely attempt there. Ooh, he's, he's, he's keeping the distance. Keeping the distance. I love to see this. Ooh, left hand hook. Left hand hook. Let's see what he could do to follow it up. Being an orthodox is what's going to keep him afloat for Invincible. Just being able to throw things. And... Ooh, oh my, the, the predictability right there is going to be at work in his favor, as you can see here. Uppercut. Uppercut by Omni Man. Was he toying with them? Let's see here. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, he's keeping his he's keeping the space, but he's capitalizing. Oh, spinning, spinning hit. It's going to cost you. Be careful. He wants him out. You can see a little bit of blood on both fighters. It's starting to take a toll on them for sure. Oh, my. It might be curtains. It might be curtains. It is not. 
Oh, he was able to get up. Again, the spinning back fist, anything that he does with spinning is just being caught with a bunch of haymakers and hooks, as you can see there, right there. Again, putting him in the ground and pound position, the think mark. He's putting him in that position. I have not seen a father beat his son this much since Joe Jackson and Michael Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. What we're seeing here is history. He is treating his son like a redheaded stepchild. Not right now, per se, <laughs> but he is he's definitely an earlier, you know, earlier round. Oh, my. He's able to get the top position on Omni-Man. Like I said, this is not his level of expertise. There we go. He's letting them up. That might have been the round for uh, Invincible. That, I can see that being Invincible's round. Let's see, the coaches are telling him he's, he's a little bit battered, but he's, he's doing his thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the replay. Let's see right here. The knee, he, let, he left himself unguarded. Should have threw it a lot quicker. Little kicks of the groin there, I didn't see that. The right hook just put him out flat. They're right there, you can see the kick. The jiggle motions, I, I saw that, the physics. See, he whiffed that knee, he didn't fully extend it, which he could have. It was put down. We are entering championship rounds, round number four. Here we go. No sign of glove touch. Oh, he's hurt, he's already down. Invincible's already down. Oh my! I told you. I knew it. I told you. Omni Man defeats Invincible in the Ultimate Creative Fighter Coach's Finale. Look at the replay. Throughout this entire fight, he was kind of just timing that spinning back elbow, back fist, whatever Invincible was doing that required him to turn his back to his opponent. He was timing it. Look right there. Flat on the canvas. He is hurt. Oh my. You can see there. He is excited. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is Beat his son. There's no arguments. It was in a fair fight. He is here to stay. Omni Man is set to take on Batman in the finale. And what could possibly be the best finale of the ultimate creative fighter tune in tomorrow guys wow